guys welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel uh, I'm here to check an ice machine we're having some intermittent issues and I think I can actually hear what's going on so let's check it out real quick hit that subscribe button uh, leave a like comment all that good stuff and let's just get into it Said it was making ice, but it's not on right now. Maybe yeah, we got a contact here. Let's try and open this up before it fixes itself because it's been an intermittent uh, issue. All right, guys, so my camera caught none of that. Maybe I need a better camera. I keep doing this but basically what I said I came up here this is an intermittent issue with a Manitowoc ice machine uh, they told me they had to restart the unit downstairs to get it to work and I stopped by last time but one of our other guys had already uh, reset and cleared the board and they had told me that it was like a long harvest but I'm thinking it's a long freeze so first thing I did is I came up here, I still got to go down and look at the board and it was humming, a loud buzzing sound, so obviously I knew something was wrong with the contactor, it was probably calling but I didn't have anything on. So I got my tester and I got to reenact this. Basically I had 209 coming in and I had nothing coming out. This, right now the power's off. This, you could tell was pulled in, but it was like uh, not straight. I came in with my insulated driver and I just tapped it and it pulled in. Cause I had checked the coil and I had 24 volts. It's a 24 volt contactor. So what's happening is this is every now and then getting stuck. They reset it, it pulls out and then straightens itself out and pulls back in and it works. Cause uh, the contacts are not bad. They're not super pitted or anything, but it's just not pulling in right. So intermittent issue. I went and got my contactor. I'm gonna replace it, super simple. I do have to recommend the motor though, but that's something that has to be ordered. I already talked to my supply house. And uh, basically, that motor is kind of screeching or it's kind of loud and it vibrates pretty bad. Uh, this is kind of an old unit, not super old, but I think they've already gotten away with one of them or gone away with that one. And they went to like a different uh, type of system for their back ice machine this is the lobby one that where the people get the ice from for their drinks uh, refills and all that so let me get this changed out and we'll go down to the board and check that out so super simple And honestly, the easiest thing for you to do is just take a picture, one from the front, and then a different angle. That way you know where all your uh, wires are in case you screw up. Basically, we go one by one. Oh, that's super loose. Uh, you can tell that they are uh, open there for some reason. Kind of just uh, pinch them down if you find them like that.
that way they're nice and snug. So we have that side. Let's do... Let's see if we can loosen these a little bit. Got two yellows on this side. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. These actually fit fine as is, so I'd have to, to change out the connector. Okay, we got those. Let me reroute these real quick. Just make sure you're not tugging any wires. Everything's like good. Nothing's gonna break. And that's it for that. This is our old one. Yeah, this side was really pitted. This side's actually really clean. So everything else looks good. It's calling for water. All my lights are okay so far. Just gonna make sure it drops ice. And then I'll, I'll show you the fan right now. All right, so everything turned on fine. It's actually not making the noise right now, but you can kind of tell how it's shaking there. And if you can't, just trust me, it's like vibrating like crazy. So I'm gonna recommend that. Plus, like I said, it was making a weird noise. So it's no good anymore. The machine itself is pretty old. And before I head back down, I'm surprised that hasn't fallen, that thing's broken. This was during because I haven't been here in years. Uh, this is where I was working on that huge AC unit on another video. So I'm assuming they had two condensers right there. 
and then their back ice machine is relatively new not super new but it's new and they put the condenser this was not us this was during their like going for cheaper bids kind of years that they had in between because like i said i wasn't here for a while uh this area was calling somebody else a buddy you know you know how that goes so check out the line <laughs> what the hell now i i don't like to make fun of people i'm not perfect either but jesus man there could have been a much better way to do this but there's work like this out there and there it went so uh yeah like i said i'm not perfect but if you get anything from watching guys on like everybody on youtube and everybody on instagram please take away the pride that they take like that's one thing you should learn take pride in your work that's not pride in your work that's just like cheap cheapest bid let's just throw the lines no support no i mean they didn't use any couplings they they reduced their their leak points i'll give them that but it doesn't look good so just like i said if you take away anything from these guys on youtube instagram not necessarily myself but there's other guys that do like perfect work you know that's that's the main thing you want to do is take pride in your work and don't let the guy that comes after you even though i hope it's it's you you know i don't like i don't like losing accounts myself but it could be a co-worker or anything like whoever comes out over, over behind you don't let them point this out and be like did you do this or that com this company did this are you sure you want to keep calling them call us that's that's how stuff like this gets you in trouble and like i said this is not bad this is not like a hack job or anything it's just not very professional and a lot of guys nowadays take it very seriously and they will do this top-notch quality i myself would have done some straight lines and bends and probably figured out a better spot for that condenser but that's just a simple way that i would have fixed it some guys would have gone above and beyond or anything like that so i do what i can with my budgets i have to get stuff approved but even then i wouldn't do work like this this is like very messy so just keep that in mind looks good to me i'll just time another one and get out of here Most of the info you need could be on the panel right here, so don't. Uh, you can look up the manual online, but a lot of the information is right on the unit.